Ten years. Ten years since my parents were killed in a car accident. I've never completely recovered from losing them. You never really get over something like that. Considering all that's been happening to me lately, I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little this morning. Can never have too many lives, huh? I'm happy that you could come. Alright, so this takes place in the 2000s. He said 10 years ago, so 2009, I guess? Lucas, come on, Lucas, come and play. You can't spend your whole life just sitting in the corner. Lucas. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. I just saw that guy pick his nose. Did anybody bad? see that? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way. You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence like last time. Nope, you'll see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it. Are you coming with us, Lucas? Saw someone who was in a crate. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Hangar four. It's gonna burn. Marcus and the others will get caught in the fire. Quick, I've got to warn someone. We've got to save them before it's too late. Oh, these are always weird and confusing. Oh, just up. <laughs> I like how it tells us because we got the thing right. It's at least telling us the route that we need to take. Which is pretty cool. Of course, this is what we live for, guys. A little bit of stealth. Well, looks like we missed a truck. Don't move or I'll shoot! Ah, see? How do we miss a the truck, then? The truck is supposed to be there. Okay, I guess we gotta wait for the truck. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, see? Yeah, uh, I don't know why the truck wasn't there, but... I 
I guess we were too high speed. We were moving too fast. <laughs> I do like the way that the, it kind of works out. Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Huh? How can that... Don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out now. It's about to explode. I'll keep looking for the others. I like how it doesn't sound like a kid at all. It just sounds like someone who, who reprogrammed the voice to sound more like a kid. <laughs> Okay, so, I don't know if... We gotta find out where this... Okay, I remember where one guy is. The first guy saw that he was by some boxes, and these look like boxes to me. Yep, right here. Bug off, Lucas! You're going to give me away! The hangar's going to explode. You gotta get out of here right now! What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game! You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. Shh, Lucas, you're a total nutcase. I just saved your life. Alright, uh... I see one. What are you doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? All right, one more. Nobody wants to play with you. You need to get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a retard, Lucas. Your mother sent me to find you. I'm gonna go and tell her that you're messing around in here. What? My mom? You say one word to her and you're dead meat. I'll deal with you later, freak. No, just a few scratches. And the others? I managed to warn them in time. They, they all got out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. You know they'll never believe that. I know. Lucas, are you all right, Lucas? Lucas, can you hear me? I did a little checking around, without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who was familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think that maybe she could help you. Here, this is her address. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas, but I sincerely hope that she can give you some kind of answer. I hope so, too. All right, looks like we have some two new people to uh, to deal with, so let's do Carlos first. And for those of you asking, I don't do face cam a lot just because I've never been really a face cam kind of person. Um, obviously, in the future, I probably will do some more face cam, but I'm still leaning towards no right now. So it can always change in the future if I get enough people that want uh, to see me do face cam. So let's keep the story going. So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? 
Several elements match the ammo of a ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So, what's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you gonna work on? There's something that I need to verify. As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. I press the L and R button alternately to make Carla breathe. Keep the pointer in the middle. Oh man, I'm failing this. That I'm trying to do it softly. Here's the archive Ooh, terminal. I think we <laughs> barely made that one. I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten file should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control my fear. This is kind of intense. Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. There's no 
power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. trying to remember which which side to go to after you've done something else that's the tricky part you got to look down and make sure you know if you need to hit right or left because you forget I think I found it the file is empty no report no evidence nothing wait there's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation Robert Mitchell. 